For this awesome video, I would like to share how to sketch a graph using derivatives. Since we can rewrite this function using product of two functions, so which means that when we differentiate, we can apply product rule. So we can first let u be equal to x and v be equal to e to the power negative x squared. So when we differentiate u, we obtain 1. Differentiate v, we obtain, we can first copy and we differentiate the power and obtain negative 2x. So which means that dy dx is equal to u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So which means that we have u x times dv dx. So x times x, x squared. So we have negative 2x squared e to the power negative x squared plus v which is e to the power negative x squared times du dx which is 1. We can factorize the common term, so we have e negative x squared times, take out this left 1, take out this left minus 2x squared. We can further differentiate and obtain the second derivative in order for us to determine the turning, the nature of the turning points. So which means that we can apply product rule again. So we have let u e negative x squared and v be 1 minus 2x squared. So we can copy whatever we have done previously since it's exactly the same. So which means that we have minus 2x e to the power negative x squared and differentiate v with respect to x. So differentiate 1 is 0. Differentiate minus 2x squared we have minus 4x. Now we can have the second derivative. So d squared y dx squared is equal to u times dv dx. So u times dv dx, we have minus 4x e to the power negative x squared. And we plus v 1 minus 2x squared times du dx minus 2x e to the power negative x squared. So which means that we have, since we have two common terms for this case, one is e to the power negative x squared and one is we can Rewrite minus 4x as minus 2x times 2. So we have another common term here. So we take out minus 2x e to the power x negative x squared. So which means that we take out this and left only 2 for this term plus 1. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And we minus 2x squared. Now we already obtained the first derivative and the second derivative and now we can determine the turning point. We know that at the turning point, dy dx is equal to 0, which means that this should be equal to 0. So we have e to the power negative x squared times 1 minus 2x squared is equal to 0. We know that this can never be 0, so which means that 1 minus 2x squared must be 0. We rewrite the equation and obtain x is equal to plus minus square root of 1 over 2, or we can rewrite as plus minus 2 over 2. We can first convert the value x negative 2 over 2 to its decimal point so that we can sketch it graph easily. So we can use calculator. So we have negative 2 over 2 and we convert to decimal point. We don't have to take all the decimal places because this is just for sketching purpose. So the accuracy, we don't have to achieve a very high accuracy. So let's say we just have to take to the sum of point. So we have 7, 1. And y is equal to, since we already input the x value and the current answer value is this value. So which means that we just have to replace x using the answer button. So we have answer, shift loan to get exponent, negative, answer again, and square. So which means that we have negative so again we don't have to take a very high accuracy since this is just for sketching purpose so we have negative 0 0.43 so at this point negative 0 0.71 and negative 0 0.43 we want to check the nature of the turning point so which means that we have to make use of the second derivative 
d squared y dx squared. So we just have to substitute the x value into this function. So which means that we have to back to the value that we previously entered. We press equal again. So that when we press, x can be replaced by answer button. So we have minus 2 answer times e to the power of negative answer square and we times 3 minus 2 answer square and we obtain 1.72 approximately and this is greater than 0 which means that this is locker minimum point and now we check for positive set 2 over 2. So again, we can round to two decimal places. So we back to the function that we previously entered. We just remove the negative sign. So we back to the y equation. So the y equation is this one. So we press equal. So as we can see, we obtain positive value. 0 0.43 so at the point 0 0.71 0 0.43 d square y dx square is approximately equal to again remember to set back the x value before we obtain the function so this is the function for d square y dx square and we press equal we obtain negative value 1.72 this is less than zero which means that this is locker maximum we have now determined the turning points now we should check for is there any point of inflection in order to determine the point of inflection we have to set d square y dx square to zero so which means that minus 2x e to the power negative x squared times 3 minus 2x squared must be equal to 0. We know that e to the power negative x squared and negative 2 can never be 0. So we can eliminate this 2. So which means that we left only x is equal to 0 or 3 minus 2x squared is equal to 0. Rewrite this equation, we obtain x is equal to plus minus 3 over 2. Since none of the x value are exactly the same as the x values of the turning points. So which means that we don't have to determine the third derivative. Now we can proceed to determine the phi value for this point of inflection. So at x is equal to 0, so what is the phi value? We can now use the calculator again. So we have 0 equal. So we Go back and look for the y equation. So we press. So it's 0. Then when x is equal to minus 3 over 2. So we can first convert to decimal places, decimal numbers, so that we can plot, sketch the graph easily because this one is very difficult to imagine the value. So we have negative third. 3 over 2 or straight away 1.5 so we have approximately negative 1.22 and now what is the y value so we can check again so go back and press equal so we have negative 0 0.27 and x is equal to positive plus minus so now we have positive 1.22 so which means that y should be approximately now we change to positive 1.22 or we want to use back and just remove the negative also can so we go back to the y function and press equal so we have positive 0 0.27 so we already obtained the point of inflections and also the turning points now we should check for the end points behavior so which means that we can apply limit so for the limit we just have to check when x approaches 
negative infinity and when x approaches positive infinity so we'll check for positive infinity so we have e to the power negative for negative is actually reciprocal so we can rewrite the function as x over e to the power of x squared so if let's say we substitute x approaches infinity x infinity into the function we will obtain infinity over infinity which is indeterminate form which means that we can apply Robita's rule so we can differentiate the numerator with respect to x and also differentiate the denominator with respect to x so we should obtain differentiate x is equal to 1 differentiate e to the power of x squared we have 2x e to the power of x squared so since the numerator is now equal to 1 when we substitute infinity only the denominator part will be infinity which means that the limit should be 1 over infinity which is 0 so next the limit when x approaches negative infinity since again we will reach indeterminate form since we will have negative infinity over infinity so which means that we can apply Robita's rule again so we have 2x e to the power of x squared so for this time x is negative so negative infinity times infinity so we have negative infinity 1 over negative infinity which means that we will approach zero from the negative side this one is over positive infinity which means that we approach zero from the positive side since we already obtained all the informations we can now sketch the graph for local minimum we should have the shape of smiley face local maximum crying face so we have negative 0 0.7 roughly here negative 0 0.4 roughly here positive 0 0.7 roughly here positive 0 0.4 roughly here so we have the y acid and the x acid so we should have the point roughly here this should be a smiley face so we can roughly make a shape and this should be the crying face so roughly make a shape since we have point of inflection at the origin so which means that this curve will pass through this point so we just have to connect them and we connect so point of inflection is the change of concavity so as we can see this is concave downward and this is concave upward and next we have negative 1.2 and negative 0.2 so roughly is here again we need to change the concavity so this is concave downward after this point we should concave upward as we can see towards negative infinity of x we should approach zero from the negative side so we extend the x axis so which means that we should here should be here and we draw and for this we have another point of inflection so 1.2 and 0 0.2 so roughly here join approach 0 from the positive side so which means roughly here then we draw so this is the graph of y equal to x times e to the power negative x squared and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you